is the media officer of uh, Rivers Upas uh, Basketball Club of Port Harcourt. I mean, they just uh, represented Nigeria, the Basketball Africa League. Uh, she's a sport journalist uh, with a particular interest in basketball. Uh, good morning, uh, Queen. Uh, good to have you back on ADBN Sport. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, really. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, River Supers, you were with them in Kigali, then uh, first in Dakar, then Kigali, of course, uh, the last time we spoke on the show. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you, you are quite happy. I mean, I've seen your so social media posts uh, in the last 24 hours. Uh, these girls have been giving you joy, of course. Uh, uh, share with us how you think we're able to take out the third ranked team in women's basketball. I'm very excited, um, no doubt about it. And um, um, you've also admitted that um, I'm, I'm excited by my comments and posts on social media. Looking at how the girls have impressed Nigerians, a lot of people had rooted the girls off, considering the fact that it's a tough group, no doubt about it, it's a very tough group. We are the least ranked team at the Olympics this year. And your first game is against a third ranked team. We've played this Australians a couple of times and we've not even won a game against them. The last time we played against them was at the um, World Cup in 2018. And still we could not beat them. It was also the opening game of the World Cup. So getting that victory, despite our build up to the Olympics wasn't so great, having that uh, victory against um, Australians was really good for us, also put us as a very good pole position to qualify to the next round because um, for the three group, we have the top two qualifying to the next stage and then the third best place team. So whichever way would at least stand a chance of going through any of the routes. So good enough for the girls yesterday. They started really well. Your start matters. So we had like a six and all um, deficiency going into the game in the first quarter. But they turned it around and they never looked back. They fought to the very end. It was um, good defense. Our defense was top notch. They kept it really, really tight. They didn't even give uh, the Australian space to even do anything. And you could wonder what, what's wrong with the Australians yesterday. They the ball like 20 times and i was happy that he took advantage of her um, there is one thing to your, for your opponent to have a bad day there's a not capitalize on day so if you don't capitalize when it's bad then i'm in the game because they fight and they fought back in the third quarter but the girls ensure that the fourth quarter was ours and you can imagine at the end of the day 13 points win it's a good game and a good win against world number three and for a new tigers team lowest um a least ranked team going ahead of the african team representatives our last olympics wasn't great we lost all three games and starting out like this it's a very good momentum in the next round yeah definitely now let's talk about our next game quickly uh, it's France, the host country on Thursday. Uh, the French team are playing Japan later today in their own first game. I know Coach Ren Awakama uh, will be looking at that alongside the girls. Now, uh, of course, um, what are our, our chances against the host country and also the pedigree of the French uh, basketball team? Uh, do we stand a chance against them? And also share with us about Coach Ren Awakama. I mean, 32 year old. Uh, she's doing amazing things for the country's basketball. Uh, what can you say about her and the impact she has had on this D Tigress team in the last one year? She's a goal getter. Um, that's who she is. She's a goal getter. For the short period we've seen her coach the national team, um, is this one lady who wants to go for it, wants to achieve great things? Um, the odds were against her when she took over from Coach Otis. Um, it was like the show um, was so big. And yeah. looking at the achievement of Coach Otis, uh, taking the Nigeria team to the World Cup and to the quarterfinal stage, none has ever done that for an African team at the World Cup, doing so well as that. And then winning back-to-back -back Afro Basket titles in 19 and 2021. It's very, it was like a big shoe for her to fill. And people were asking, and I was, including me, I was going to ask, where is she coming from? I had to do a lot of research <laughs> about her. I realized that, oh, she had actually played for First Bank at their 
uh, African champ as this uh, FIBA Champions Cup for women, just like the CAF Champions League mm -hmm. for women right here a um, um, few years ago, about 10 years ago. So for first bank, and she played, and just like afterwards, she had a short stint in playing. She didn't play so long, but she went into coaching. You don't have to be great at being a player. Some, some people make better coaches than players, while some people make better players than coaches, while some are better coaches or are good at both ways. Yeah. But she has shown that she's a go-getter. She knows what she wants. She wants to make a name for herself. And she made it at the Afro Basket 2023. But we're wondering where she's coming from. What can she do? Can she achieve greatness? Especially that some of the players that um, won us this um, Afro Basket Championship in 2021 didn't return because of the whole um, issues around the NBF mm -hmm. as well as the D-Tigers yeah. players after that process that happened uh, two years ago. So we're wondering how we should do it. New set of girls and just few old ones. Mm -hmm. How would you go about But she ensured that she, she completed that four peat the defender the title. So that's a name to herself. So for a 32 year old, first African and first Nigerian to win, woman to win the Afro Basket title, um, qualify us to the Olympics, win your first opening game at the Olympics, and win Nigeria's first wins in 20 years at the Olympics. I think it's massive for her. Um, I think she has. She has gone beyond the limits of people, what people had already set for her, all the targets people had set for her. It's just more for her to come, more records for her to come. So incredible, Rena. That's what I call her. She's incredible. She's great. And uh, she will do more great things. But to look at our game against France, um, they played against Canada yesterday. I watched that game last night. And I was like, ah. Rather than look at the French team, I was more in particular about the Canadian team. I was like, okay. this Canadian team, we can't beat them now. We can't beat them. <laughs> but France, um, that game is tough. Oh. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's very tough. And you're facing the host nation. Like, yeah. the, the, the whole stadium, the dream yesterday was packed full. It was packed full. So, you're playing against the five girls on court, the bench, the fans. You're playing against everybody. That's just it. But France are a very, very good team. Uh, they finished bronze medalists at the last Olympic Games as well. Um, they have very good players as well. It's going to be tough. I know our girls would put off a fight. I like their resilience. I like their perseverance. I like their hunger. That's what has always kept the Nigerian team going. They will do that against France. So, but whatever happens from there, we we'll take it mm, well okay. but to be frank it's tough it's a tough game yeah. it's a tough game yeah definitely i agree with you uh of course uh, uh queen uh john Mosef, that uh, it will be a tough game on thursday for our digress against the french team thank you so much for your time uh i know that uh, there's so much uh, for you to attend to yeah thank you so much do enjoy the rest of your day in lagos yeah thank you so much yeah, uh, that was uh, Queen uh, uh, John Mosef, the media officer of River Supers, a basketball expert, of course, uh, sharing our thoughts on our team. Let's cross over now and talk about the Super Falcons. Uh, the Falcons have a game against Japan tomorrow. Uh, it's their final group game of 